I will go through all of today's Tesla stock news, but first let me give you a quick update. I really wanted to make a video yesterday, but I got an infection after my uh, wisdom teeth were surgically removed. And unfortunately, mm, I couldn't really speak well. Also, my face was really swollen. You can actually still see that it's swollen a little bit if you look very carefully, but it's not very obvious anymore. I feel much better now, but still I can't smile fully. It's really painful to smile actually. So I may look a bit off, but it's just because I'm recovering. So only one video per day for now. And now Tesla stock news, and this is huge news. I really like this one. Tesla looks like it will finally break ground at Gigafactory Mexico. It is finally happening. Local newspaper is reporting that the work is starting with machinery being spotted at the Gigafactory Mexico site. It has taken a little longer than many expected, but it is finally happening and I'm very happy about it. The next big thing to watch out for is, I remember there was a leak from the government of Mexico that Tesla will unveil what model it will produce in that factory once groundbreaking starts. So if that rumor is true, and it maybe it will not be, but if it's true, then we should find out a lot more about the next generation vehicle very soon. And while the groundbreaking itself, I don't think is likely to move Tesla stock really in any direction, the unveiling of a next generation vehicle could, which would make it huge news. We have a big change here actually, uh, Matt Jung, who provided us with Tesla's inventory data, he's taking his website down completely because Tesla blocked his tracker. So that's a pretty big change. It got to a point where it was pretty easy to anticipate when Tesla is going to reduce prices or increase prices. All you had to do simply was just look at the inventory levels. If they are really low, Tesla is increasing prices. If they are really high, Tesla is decreasing prices. There's this other website we can use, teslainfo.com, but I suspect they are going to have problems very soon as well. Uh, but for now, you can still see Tesla's inventory here. I like the other website a little bit better, but this one is also pretty good. Uh, this right here, though, shows a global new inventory, and you can navigate the website and see uh, exactly uh, the inventory of a country that you are interested in. Certainly a pretty good website, but I suspect this is going to end soon too. ARK Invest just sold some more Tesla stock, about a little bit over $18 million in total. You can see right here, 76,000 Tesla shares. Tesla is still ARK Invest's number one position, although um, the allocation just moved down from 10.7% to 10.6%, so a very tiny change when we compare it to how much Tesla stock ARK Invest actually has. There's a common misconception that Cathy Wood needs to sell Tesla stock if it exceeds 10%, but right now it's over 10% and she's not selling more. Uh, actually, technically she could own 25%. That's the guidelines that she has to follow. So up to 25% of her fund could be allocated towards Tesla stock, not just up to 10%. But I would also like to add that any fund manager that owns more than 10%, I would say that's actually pretty good. So overall, I'm happy with Kathy Wood, but I would just expect maybe a little bit more. That's all. A record $500 million worth of Tesla mega packs were spotted at the Leila Mega Factory today. This was yesterday uh, for export for delivery. Production continues to ramp up. I like this. I can't really jump up and down and smile a lot because otherwise I'll just hurt myself. But trust me. I'm really happy looking at this. And I can't wait for another update from Brad for where he goes out there in front of the Lathra factory, actually sits in his vehicle for like a week and then counts how many mega packs come out and then he can figure out exactly how many mega packs were produced. I'm really looking forward to that. James is pretty excited as well. Will Q3 be the blowout energy quarter? It might be, with energy gross margin increasing alongside installation slash sales. Energy growth will continue and even accelerate with Lathrop Ramp and Mega Factory Shanghai next year. And there's gonna be more than just Shanghai later. I think we will have Mega Pack factories pretty much in every continent. Europe really is inevitable. Tesla will have a Mega Pack factory in Europe eventually as well. And currently, Stoyer says, 
He thinks that the biggest Megapack battery system in the world is Moss Landing in California. It uses 256 Tesla Megapacks at a cost of over $350 million. That's the biggest project right now currently, but that's going to change in the future. Also, some may say that this number is wrong in terms of cost because one Megapack is about $2 million, so it should be over $500 million, right? But Sawyer says... These are based on 2021 prices. Tesla has licensed its North American charging standard to connector manufacturing giant Volex. I went to the original source of this because it's a bit, I don't know, un unusual. And indeed, there is uh, the word license partner of Tesla used. Uh, I was more under the impression that Tesla opened the whole, whole thing up and it's it doesn't need to license this specific item. I was more under the impression that Tesla selected this company as a manufacturer, but when I read their statement, it does use the word license specifically. So uh, maybe I'm missing something here. I'm not sure. Maybe I will take a look at this later. But I do remember Elon saying something along the lines of Tesla will not make money from this connector basically. So that's why the word licensing is a little bit unexpected to me. Troy just shared this chart which shows cumulative sales in China, the Model 3 and Y. And then he says, I think it's impressive that China sales are almost as strong as US sales, even though Model Y sales started a year later in Q1 2021 instead of Q1 of 2020 in the US. You can see Europe sales in this lighter blue color china sales in red and then u.s sales in dark blue pretty much almost exactly the same as uh, china sales we got this video from ai driver demonstrating the difference between hardware 3 cameras and hardware 4 cameras this is hardware 3 right now and this is hardware 4 as you can see the difference is quite substantial this is hardware 3 hardware 4 hmm I'm not sure if I like hardware 4 <laughs> in this shot better, but it can see, oh wow, a lot wider. Okay, so that is definitely better than, it's a, just a bit clearer, it's a bit sharper. Hardware 3 here, hardware 4, yeah, that's definitely better. And here's another good comparison between the two. Another Cybertruck was spotted here. I'm not sure what these numbers mean. If you know, leave a comment down below, but also uh, we can see this light bar here which i haven't really seen before maybe tesla will offer that as an accessory certainly a fair question to ask oh and it's also towing something but i can't see what it's towing gary remains very bullish on tesla stock it is his number two position after google he believes that 240 dollars for tesla stock is just way too cheap i agree for those not doing so good uh, they are delaying the Electric Explorer launch until next summer. So that's about six months later than expected. Elon gives us a new update on full cell driving. Omar here says Tesla needs to release the latest version of FSD to everyone so more people can see how good it is. Uh, Elon uh, says is this about 11.4.7? That should be going to wide release within a week. So probably more like maybe a month based on Elon's previous timelines when Elon said two weeks and that two weeks turned into a few months. Version 12, which is almost a total rewrite, 99% AI, wow, is being tested by our QA drivers. Too much new code to go to the public yet, but it is mind-blowing in my opinion, says Elon. I think Gary Black has a pretty decent point here. The back and forth banter about Musk and Zek fighting it out. Gladiator style may be good for X engagement, but it's not helpful to Tesla stock. Tesla stock continues to drift down despite strong fundamentals. That is another big reason for the fight happening, isn't it? That will certainly drive traffic to Twitter or X now. Yeah a bit of a conflict of interest between the companies here i would say if i was let's say an investor of x and i'm looking at this fight i'm thinking about okay well how much downside is there yeah there's certainly downside but how much upside is there for x specifically for more engagement uh more people signing up for x 
being profitable sooner, perhaps much, much sooner. But even with that in mind, I still don't think the fight is worth the risk because Elon had a few surgeries before uh, related to his neck and the spine. And yeah, you can easily mess these up. I mean, I just had a simple wisdom teeth removal surgery. It was a little bit more complicated because the, the teeth were not growing up. They were growing like that. And I'm experiencing complications about a month after the surgery. And he had a neck and a back uh, surgery, basically. So, and, and he's going to fight. I didn't do anything really after my surgery. I didn't talk for something like a week. First six days, actually, zero talking. I just had my phone and I would just text and then I would show it to everyone. So literally zero talking. I had a few videos pre-recorded for YouTube and I took all the medications necessary. And then I uh, rinsed my mouth every single time after I ate. And the first 48 hours, actually, I just fasted. I didn't eat anything to minimize the chance of an infection. I was very careful about everything and still I got a problem. So, mm, I don't know. I'm really against this fight overall. James makes a pretty good point here about FSD. Another FSD total rewrite with version 12 implies that Tesla knows the current code has already reached diminishing returns or is projected to hit a ceiling well below what is needed for autonomy. Will version 12 be any different? Maybe another step change from V11, which would be great, safer than humans in the next five months? Doubtful. I would agree with that point specifically. You also never know and you never want to really bet against Elon Musk. One time, eventually, he will be right. In the meantime, a cruise vehicle got into an argument with this guy. As you can see, he's pointing at the vehicle, telling the vehicle where to go, but uh, yeah, the vehicle is just not going <laughs> where it should go. Ooh. Eventually, they will figure it out, but even once they do, can they scale very quickly at low cost? Tesla will beat Cruise when it comes to cost by a lot. Hmm, this is interesting. Tesla is now offering a $750 rebate in Australia directly off the Powerwall price for customers who purchase and install by December 31st. Okay, guys, what do you think about this? This is supposedly the new Highland door, the refresh model 3 door, and you can see this material is different. Ah, uh, I don't know. It Now, this maybe the angle is not really showing us how it actually is going to look, but my first impression is this does not match this. This just looks a little off, uh, but probably just the angle. I'm not sure. I'm not a fan of it right now, but maybe when I see it in person, I'll be like, oh, this is awesome. And remember, at the investor day, Tesla said that usually they find ways to cut the costs, but still deliver the same value or performance. Mm, I don't know. This does not look better. It looks worse, but again, maybe it's just the angle or the camera, or maybe it's not final yet. Maybe the door handle will look different. For me, the main thing is this just looks this looks great and this just it just doesn't match and some more good news there's another tesla mega pack project right here and youtube says you should watch this video next but if you haven't finished watching this elon musk interview watch this one first hopefully tomorrow i feel better but in the meantime like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching